We're at the final part of the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! We made it. Finally made it. Whew. Now we gotta get the last two. Yep, it's the last trial. It's technically one trial, because you need both Paolo and Paul to be in it. Uh, but yeah, there's only one more to go, and then we can finally exit the Lunar Ruins. What is it? Patty Cake with Zemus? Uh, <laughs> jump rope. Oh, shit. <laughs> I never got that card. <laughs> yeah, I never got that card either. What's the farthest you ever got from the King of Jump Rope? 23 before I lost interest. <laughs> 23 before I realized I was playing Jump Rope. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't think, I don't remember getting very far in that mini game at all. Yeah, it's that hard to do when you get the rank. You do know down. that because you're the one LP in that game you're obligated to get the maximum rank. Uh, I could do that. But I don't need to. <laughs> yeah, I suck a dick. <laughs> no, I could do it. I just don't want to do it through that. I'll be impressed if you can do it. You also got to impress all the noblemans and uh, Queen Brawn. You have to steal the flute on your first steal. Uh, I don't know how you're going to manipulate luck to do that, but you need to do it. Uh, let me see. Um, you need to get Excalibur 2. And, uh, you need to beat Ozma Watt level 1. Why don't you uh, wash my nuts on that one? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a nine-year-old's meaning, meaning of mastery. <laughs> well, if you can do all that, then you're better than me. Uh, no, champ, I just did it better than you. <laughs> Why would I want Excalibur 2 anyway? It screams fool's bait. I want to get it just once, just to say I did it. I don't want to get it, and then when Final Fantasy IX's re -release, eventual re-release comes out on the PS4, it'll be a trophy, and then I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, final trial of the Lunar Runs. And I gotta admit, that's some manly sounding music there. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to send their final test into the Discovery Zone. <laughs> Discovery Zone, kids. <laughs> yeah. Am I finding toy soldiers? Uh, no. We are hearing Palo and Porum's theme, though. We haven't heard this theme in quite a long time. Yeah. I can't say it really rocked. <laughs> Wanted. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... There are two... Wrestle a bear. Don't lose. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Oh, so what do we got to do here? All right, so there are two pathways. Obviously, uh, we got to utilize Palom and Porum to okay. manipulate puzzles and switches so we can get past the trials. The hole is just big enough for a child to fit through. Eh, I'm pretty sure if <laughs> Cecil sucked it in, he could probably fit through. No. Uh, but Adam and Armor. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is pretty... It's actually not that uh, hard or complicated to do. So you have to flick switches to manipulate something on the other twin's pathway. And vice versa. Oh, lovely. Uh, there are also like little tiny holes that you need to travel through by utilizing spells. you got to utilize mini, toad, pig to get doors open. And to, able, uh, to reach rooms that require you to... You know, Toadker. Good pun. What's it do? I don't know. No, Togers are actually uh, enemies we fought way back in the Waterfall Cavern before we fought the Octomammoth. Oh, you got, oh like, wow. Yeah. These you bomb them to death. These guys are pretty much here to make sure you're able to cast Toad on yourself. Oh, okay. It's not. Cool. It's impossible to run out of magic, though, because we have plenty of magic pots scattered throughout the area. And this guy serves as a tutorial. He lets us know that a frog can run through that small hole. If, Meanwhile, you just go fuck that and go do something else? If you stand on these tiles, Toad magic immediately takes effect. So you don't even have to cast Toad on yourself. Nice. Just in case you were that fucking lazy or ran out of MP. <laughs> Which is impossible, because you got magic pots. Ah, Cockabrina. It's an odd fucking place to play it. Ain't it? Well, I mean, we kind of look like a doll now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's up with the dirty glass there? It's cracked floor. Oh. The towel that I stepped on earlier was float. Alright, I understand. Is he gonna eat you? No. That's a tutorial mini. Oh, okay. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Are you gonna start that in every time you go through a wall? Just use the other It's not really a pipe, it's a hole. Eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whole pipe. Same thing. Exactly. Shit goes through it. <laughs> there are some doors, though, that don't open unless you're under a specific status ailment. Like, uh, we have these wooden doors, I think we're gonna count one right here. That won't open unless you're a pig. Wow, that's fucking I needy. I don't get that. 
It's a sentient door. It wants a pig. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I require bacon. Exactly. <laughs> I see a mini hole. I see... What was that? A uh, blue switch. And yes, you killed your twin. <laughs> and then he was crushed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. How am I going to explain that to the Alder? <laughs> Estrada. <laughs> That's your heal for everything. <laughs> No, you cast down. Oh, shit, what was, some, what was some memory be gone shit in this game? The memory be gone stuff? Yeah, like, what What could you cast to make them forget? Confuse? I guess. <laughs> I was an only child. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh... This is one of those puzzle uh, puzzles. <laughs> this is one of those puzzles that you, it, run. It's only a matter of time before you find the answer for yourself. I well, will, the only thing that will fuck you over in a bit is the fact that you need to be a pig in order to have the door to open. Eh, it's some doors. It's not all the doors. It's some doors. And some magic have priority over others. Like I think Mini overrides Toad and Pig. Hmm. Well, that's the worst. Th well, how I think I would think Toad or Pig being worse than the other two. I still don't know the damn difference between Toad and Pig. Uh, I think Pig... Uh, if one of your characters consume the character under Pig, they gain HP. Hey, but think of all the calories. Like, we care? We're Americans. Uh, very true. Actually, uh, uh, to this day, I still don't know what Pig does. I think it may have something to do with your attack stat being reduced. But then again, so does Toad. Mm hmm. Difference. Matt. Between two Why don't you and utilize eight. that thing called the internet? <laughs> we still have a bit to go before we. Pig prevents the target from using magic. They it also lose benefits from equipment or weapons. But in the case of monk types like Yang, Pig will have little effect on their damage. Toad prevents the car target from casting or using specials. All around cripple. So which one's worse, Pig or Toad? Both. That's not a yes or no. <laughs> I mean, what, what, I mean. They both suck at the uh, end. Okay, there you go, that's all right. That's a good way to say it. Uh, the way I look at it, pig, because then you're not trying to be cooked in the bacon. There are people that eat frogs. Huh? There are people that eat frogs. I don't count the French. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is the final stretch. If it's a green switch, then yes. Okay, good. Okay, so we're good. We're done on Purim side. And Palm side, too. It's a simultaneous switch. I how do they know that. how to talk to each other despite being on two completely opposite sides? Telepathy. To answer my question, I got none to say more. <laughs> uh -huh. And that is essentially the end of the trial. A hundred bottles of beer on the wall. A hundred <laughs> bottles of beer. <laughs> I can see Cecil singing that nonchalantly and Sid ready to crack him in the head with a hammer. <laughs> oh, I did, I did, I did, I Yeah, the last thing I need is you two to turn to rocks again. <laughs> oh god, we're in a narrow hallway. <laughs> Not 13. Lunar Leviathan. Ogo Pogo. You came out of fucking nowhere. Didn't he? <laughs> Look, I, I couldn't think of a plastic exercise. So I just said, fucking here. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar Leviathan is really not that different from Leviathan, or Ogo Pogo for that matter. It's watered magic that deals more damage. Yeah, he's just buffed up. That's pretty much it. So Fucking wonderful. So anything we said for Ogo Pogo, aside from it being a palindrome, applies here. Yeah. Lovely. I don't think uh, this is a palindrome either. Let me see. Uh, Nathan, nope. <laughs> Oops. That's <laughs> a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> anyway, basic strategies pretty much apply. Cecil attacks. Pour him heals every once in a while, especially after Manstrom. Uh, Fucking Kane. Maelstrom! Kane double jumps. Palom will do Thundaga. That'll do max damage all the time. And I Edge. hope you get to Kiraja before you end up being deluged to death. That's okay, I cast slow on the one Leviathan. Still wanting to stop the DS version. Oh, what's that? I get an automatic priority? Thank you! <laughs> what do you mean I counter <laughs> slow with deluge? <laughs> <laughs> Just try to constrict for no avail? No, who, who did you aim at? I wasn't paying attention. Was it Cecil? Yeah, that's the admin armor working. Ah, hard as a rock. <laughs> That's a Tonka Tough guarantee. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, boop your head. <laughs> There's nothing to say here, he's the same fucking no, thing. No, it's the same fucking guy, you're right, you're absolutely right. Like, out of all the uh, lunar summons we fought, this guy is pretty much just a buffed version of a fought we fight we've already fought before. Two oh, times. <laughs> Leviathan, Lunar Leviathan, Ogopogo, Lunar Ogopogo? <laughs> hey, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, th thankfully, since we're pretty buffed up in terms of attack stats, this battle won't take nearly as long as the original Leviathan fight. Or, uh, no, I think, I think we defeated Ogopogo faster. I would hope so. Except this fucker has the HP to spare. Yeah, he does, um, I believe Luna Leviathan has over 100,000 HP. And you're done. Well, not anymore. And now I'm going into the Earth. <laughs> That's it. That's the last Lunar Summon in the game, ladies and gentlemen. But we're not done yet. We still have two super bosses to encounter. Okay. Yeah, the Lunar Summons don't... I guess if you want to count... What counts as a super boss? What's the difference between... Well, no, I, I guess I can answer my own First question. First and foremost, what are the Twin Stars? The Twin Stars allows Palom and Porum to cast Twin Meteor. Lovely. When they do a Twin Summon. That's actually one thing I didn't really show off in this LP was the Twin Spells, because, ladies and gentlemen, they're, they're awesome but impractical to me, to yeah. be honest. Unless um, you got Sasol and Rosa. Ultima! Yeah. Well, you cast haste on them, they can cast faster. Right. But yeah, the Twin Stars allowed them to do Twin Meteor, that spell that did absolutely fucking nothing to Zemus <laughs> in Part 22. Hmm. But, um... So now what are we doing? Inter now now how would I classify super bosses? Yeah. Bosses that pretty much are, at, are not required at all in the plot, but provide a decent amount of challenge anyway. So would you count as all of these as super bosses? Pretty much. Oh. What do you know? We happen to run into the room that has one of the super bosses in it. This guy pretty much serves as a warning. Hi, I'm Shinryu. The there he is. The hardest boss of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Rock your Rock your Rhydos. Rhydos. Wow, that looked like a fire twister. And Kane is out like a bitch. <laughs> Poor bitch. <laughs> I'm the best motherfucker around. <laughs> All right, Rock your Rhydos. Christ. Looks like she's trying to warm her hands up. As you can see, uh, his Inferno packs quite the punch. It's pretty much an instant kill. I don't think you can. I don't think you can defend against it entirely. Okay. Uh, Cecil says no. No, no, that was a physical attack. Oh. So, <laughs> what strategies can I tell you? Bonk him in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> right, Cecil will attack. Hopefully, the Holy Elemental spell will follow up with this, so you can do more than uh, you can break the damage cap. Palum will cast Flare uh, when he can. Uh, of course, this being a super boss, he has more than one phase. By the by, does this thing happen to have, like, um, any elemental weaknesses? N no, not on top of my head. I'm gonna assume no, because he's a super boss and he shouldn't have any. <laughs> I don't know. He'd be surprised. And there goes Palum. Good night. So, uh, the first form of Brachyoridos, he pretty much casts Inferno and does uh, attack, uh, physical attacks. Once you take away enough of his HP, he will start counting down. Let's see, Where's resist. This? What do you got? Uh, it doesn't state anything of that, so... Uh, no. Resistant to? Weakness is Nothing? Resistant to poison, blind, silence, pig, mini, toad, petrified, death, berserk, confused, sleep, paralyzed, curse, gradual, petrify, immune to, poison, blind, sleep, pig, mini, <laughs> toad, petrified, death, berserk, confused, sleep, paralyzed, curse, gradual, petrify, uh, I wonder what the fuck they got the difference is. You also could do attacks such as protect, reflect, mega flare, maelstrom, restore, black hole, and object 199. Object 199, the fucking CPU attack. Anyway, so... Well, it is the game is generally played by means of computer. Here's the thing with Brachyoritis. When he starts counting down, he's obviously counting down to Mega Flare. However, if you attack him while he's counting down, he changes his strategy completely. He will cast Protect on himself, and then he will cast Reflect on himself. And then he will start doing triple cast spells. Lovely. And it's not like the triple cast that the Dark Elf did back in the Lodestone Cavern. No, they are considered separate spells. So Faraga will hit you for 8,000. Blizzaga will hit you for around 7,000, and Thundaga will hit you for around 7,000. So why don't you use Dispel? Huh? Dispel will break that. Dispel? Well, at this point, I would recommend you cast Reflect on one of your party members and start bouncing spells off of him. I wouldn't waste your time with Dispel, because... 
Why not? You, I, to me, I don't think you can afford to waste a turn. You always if you if you end up breaking the dispel, won't he recast protect and reflect on himself again anyway? You're very true. But doesn't that cost him a turn? It costs him a turn. But, but that gives you more than enough reason to do it, in my opinion. I I wouldn't waste it. I would. Now, even though he's casting Black Hole, which is what we saw in Zeroma's spell to negate all his status buffs, it doesn't take away his Reflect. Right. Well, oh, if, if Reflect isn't technically a status buff. It's just a spell. Right. So, that wouldn't take that away. Meanwhile, Cecil's looking nonetheless but, but worse for it. Well, hopefully... Well, you see, the pro problem here, though, is that Brack, you're right... Oh, he's gone. All right. The problem here, though, is that... Hero Shield, what's that do? That shield in the game. What's it do? Uh, Big-ass status buff. Woo! Whoop de do Cecil is invincible. Yeah, bitch, what's it looking like? That was the super boss of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we were doing DS, we'd be showing off Garion in the Proto Babel. Ugh. To this day, I haven't even attempted. That also brings me to something that I didn't really bring up uh, in the uh, part 22. One of the items you can steal, the item you can steal, you can actually steal an item from Zeromus. Mm -hmm. uh, Dark Matter. In the original, it didn't do anything. In fact, I don't even know why the hell they programmed it in the first place. Uh -huh. In the DS version, the Dark Matter does something, though. It unlocks the fighter proto battle. Huh. God almighty, <laughs> why am I alive? <laughs> did I agree to this? And now he, that's why he's a prototype. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Johnny, you know how the RP JRPGs work. Prototypes end up stronger than the originals. Uh, and he is stronger than the original Death Bass, I believe. But he has the same exact strategy. They all seem to have this fucking strategy. Reflect and then bounce off to hit you. What well, another Death Machine... Yeah, that we fought in the Cave of Trials and had that strategy. Yeah, it sucked and died. <laughs> <laughs> then again, that was kind of the whole... It was That was kind of its point. It wanted to die. Yeah. The DS version of Final Fantasy IV does not have the Cave of Trials or the Lunar Ruins. It's pretty much just the original game made in 3D. But it, super does, bosses. it does have its super bosses too. As Matt mentioned, uh, was it Geron? Jiraiyan. Jiraiyan. Which you f can find in uh, either Mount Ordeals... Uh, at post game or in the Giant of Babel New Game Plus. Right. Um, Proto Babel, on the other hand, is well. That's where Dark Matter comes from. You can steal the Dark Matter from Zeramis uh, right before it transforms into its final form. And then you can get it. And then you could take it to Naming Way. No, somebody. you take it to the uh, you take it to the entrance or the Lunar Ruins or where the Moe heads at. Mm -hmm. The Moe head, whatever how you pronounce it. Moe. Moe head adds at then use Dark Matter. Bam. Proto Babel. Mm -hmm. I haven't even attempted to fight Proto Babel at this point. Interestingly enough, you can keep stealing Dark Matter, so if you really want to refight Pro Proto Babel again, yeah. just steal another one. It's very true, though. Like, I never understood why prototypes end up being the most. Is it because it's not fully utilized? It's dangerous? It's out of control? That would explain something like Vegna Gun, but not necessarily prototype. Prototype is generally speaking, here's our first draft, and we fucked it up. Let's go to the revised <laughs> model. So, uh, we're near the end of the, uh, we're just about done here, ladies and gentlemen. King Behemoth. King Behemoth, oh wow. I'm getting ten flashbacks. <laughs> uh, well, luckily for us, King Behemoth doesn't have that nasty-ass fucking annoying strategy of casting Meteor when it dies. Lovely. He's pretty much just a recolor of the Behemoth. Uh, Maelstrom and all? Uh, yeah, I actually believe he does use Maelstrom more often. I believe he does, anyway. Well, we're gonna find out with this battle right here, so. Doink, doink, digging the neon green hair. Uh, too much Nickelodeon. I got a kick out of that. <laughs> no, he whacked that, and that looked like he was posing for Elvis. <laughs> uh huh. Mm, jelly donut. Mm, jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> Lordy. <laughs> There's a treasure box right there, but I'm not getting it. What is it? I don't know. Shinria? Yeah, fuck. God forbid. <laughs> I can see that happening. We'll make a mark too. I was I was once imagining like if I, you haven't watched Mega Sex L R. No. There was a monster called the Regis Mark V, which was literally an indestructible android. But every time he blew something up, he would ch ch chant in pride and joy like, "Victory reigns supreme for the Regis Mark V." And I imagined that for Omega, <laughs> like a gain of voice, it would just blow up a fire hydrant and it goes, "You cannot withstand the might of the Omega Mark V." Do 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 do. So, Is the final boss Cecil's father? No. <laughs> Golbez? Uh, no. That'd be some shit. <laughs> so, here I am being a... Okay, that warps you back out of the Lunar Ruins. Here I am thinking that's not a save point, so I end up using Omega Elixir right here. Dipshit. <laughs> so I use Omega Elixir here, and then I find that it's a save point. Fuck! <laughs> 
and I hate you. <laughs> uh, well, I, have, I have plenty to spare. And eh, fuck it, we're at the end of the game anyway. God damn it, I filled up my entire save log during this entire trip. Wowzers. Jesus Christ. Better start deleting them when you're done. Yeah, well, I'm going to hold on to them as proof that I did it. Uh, well, That's what the let's play's for. I guess so. <laughs> save one and give it to the rest. But I want to look back and smile. Okay. Yeah. The very last thing to do. Uh, Batman? Oh, who the fuck is this? The other super boss? He has complete darkness. That's he a fire. Is, he is a Romus, but at the same time, he is not. He is a Romus, E.G. E.G.? What's that stand for? Um, egg? <laughs> egg. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a more complete Zeromus. Yikes. And that, uh, uh, what's with the female there at the cross? I don't know square. <laughs> I'll believe it. I see it with Mateus. Okay, so just for a little backstory, in case the two of you S don't know this. Zeromus so essentially ambushed the Power Rangers, kidnapped the Pink Ranger, or the Yellow Ranger, and then became the Megazord. Yeah. So, back in when Final Fantasy IV was initially released in Japan, um, and after the American release... Japan got a second release of Final Fantasy IV called Final Fantasy IV Easy Type, which was pretty much a real bastardization of the game. It was even easier than the American version of Final Fantasy IV, if you can believe that for a second. Wow. For some reason, in the addition of making the game really easy, well, easier for, you know, the beginners, they changed Zero Mrs. Sprite to this. Hmm. I have no idea why they changed it, but that's what they did. So this is pretty much what Zeromus on the easy type version of Final Fantasy IV looks like. So they figured for the advanced version and the complete collection version, you know what, we have the sprite that we spent a lot of time making. Let's revamp it and make it a super boss. Mm -hmm. Zeromus EG, though, isn't that difficult, to be honest. Well, it has Reflect up, and I'm not seeing it do anything else. Well, it, it always starts to battle off with Big Bang, which we are, we're used to at this point. Check out a little Kane with his blue hair. It also likes to utilize spells. You saw, we saw it use Toad earlier, to not much effect, and we saw it use Mini. So it's a bit more nasty in terms of, you know, status-inducing spells, but other than that, this guy really isn't that big of a deal. And another fun fact, you know those summon books we got? Yeah. You can actually, you can, you, if you want to, you can start using them on this boss battle because, you know, you're at the end of the game anyway. It's not like you're going to need them. Right. Some of the summon books also have secondary effects. Like what? I'm not sure what summon book it is, but one of them can transform Zeromus EG into a toad. It's temporary, mind you, for a few turns. Please tell me you shut that off. No, because that makes the battle pathetically easy. But I would like to see Zeromus uh, as a toad. I did it during my advance run of Final Fantasy IV out of complete fucking accident. Because I wonder, you know, I got these books here. I wonder if I, they look like one-use items. And then you throw it at Zeromus? Uh, Bonk! I <laughs> That's not how I use it. Yeah, but the, the, the summon books, the secondary effects can affect Zeromus EG. But I don't want to use them because I, I just want to fight this guy the normal way. I wanted to say it at least once. Oh well. Ah oh, well. Zeromus Toba looks so cute. Uh, I've read on strategies that when Zeromus is down to the bare minimum of his HP, his last resort is pretty much like five to ten attacks in a row. Ah, uh, the Gigantor from Six Events. Uh, I believe uh, one of the um the tiers before Kefka also had ten hits attacked. Too. Yeah. Um, so I, I would assume it's something similar to that. Thing so is, though, if you have edges vanish, you can actually get right by that. I believe it would, uh, I believe, uh, yeah, the blink spell would bypass it. But, uh, the thing is, though, he's not gonna do that for this fight. Because he only does it when his HP is between a certain number, but after a certain amount of turns. Basically, it's kind of like Go-Go and away from Final Fantasy V. You trigger the death animation before you trigger the percentage of HP where you actually, where he actually does the yes. correct, where he executes the proper command. I, like, I, I think I get him to the HP level that he needs to be in order to initiate the last resort attack, but then mm -hmm. I hit him again, that takes him out of it. So, so meanwhile, all, all Edge is doing now is throwing Shuriken, but at this point you may as well just bonk him normally. Yeah. And Palum's not getting much use here because... Well, reflect. He, Zerom has actually cast Reflect on himself when you hit him with a spell. Anytime you cast a spell on him, he counts with Reflect. So what I really should be doing here... Well, I'm, I'm bluffing with Palum so I can <laughs> get the... Uh, the, uh, get a stat boost on the magic uh, properties. Uh, what I should be doing here is I should be casting Reflect with Porum on somebody here and start bouncing spells off. 
But we don't. Nope. But yeah, but this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is it. This is the end of the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play because after we beat the boss, there's no credit sequence. We already showed that off in Part 22. Right. Uh, so, Matt, would you would you recommend Final Fantasy IV to a, a person who's ever played an RPG ever? Or yes, I would. Would you? Can you only recommend it to a person who likes JRPGs to begin with? I'd recommend it as a starting point for JRPGs, but actually, no, I wouldn't because we're way far ahead now. But this is one definitely worth coming back to just to see the how, just to see how it was done properly before it all fucked up. I will say though, it's my first JRPG, mm -hmm. um, and it did a good job. I was hooked. Mine was seven. Worked backward. Found this to be one of my favorites in story, if only because it didn't fall in love with itself and it didn't try to mask poor explanations with needless contribution. Contrib Contrivances. Contrivances and convolutions. But, yeah, I mean, there, there are a lot of ways you can get this game. You can get the original American translation of Final Fantasy IV, known as Final Fantasy II. Uh, just look for the red cover. Uh, you can get it on... You can get it for the PlayStation, where it goes under Final Fantasy Chronicles, which comes bundled with Chrono Trigger. The only thing that we don't... The only way we don't recommend you do it is don't go to see the back alley guy. He'll tell you to close your eyes and suck it out through a straw. Oh. You won't like that one. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> You can get Final Fantasy IV Advance for the Game Boy Advance, which is actually the version we're playing. Or you can play the actual version that we're playing, it's Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection for the play, uh, PlayStation Portable. Which you could do if you don't mind a bit of uh, fanfic in the after years. <laughs> well, speaking of the after years, we will not be getting to the after years for quite some time, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna move. We're gonna branch off the different RPGs uh, after this game is over. Um, and in terms of what RPG we're doing next time. Exactly sure yet. Depending upon what I could do with my finances, it'll either be Persona or if not, we'll just do Pokemon Yellow. Do you want to let the audience decide? Huh? Do you want to let the audience decide? Yeah, why not? Okay. Persona or Pokemon Yellow? The one with the most thumbs up? It's the next RPG we'll do. And for those of you wondering, for the Persona game I'm doing, it'll be Persona for the PlayStation 1. Yeah, Persona Not the uh, PSP. Not the PSP version, the PlayStation 1 original version. That's actually a pretty rare game, isn't it? It is. Most of and it's macked to hell. And he is dead. Do I at least get to vote for the next game? Oh no! <laughs> Zoroma CG can't feel his legs. See you in Final Fantasy XII, kiddies. <laughs> That's it. High fives! <laughs> ah! <laughs> And now he defeated his own hatred. Goodbye. I don't know. You know he's, just, he's just taking a nap. Oh, he's, he's, he's... Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of not to say farewell. The others are almost kind of a dick. Well, that's what you get from evil Jesus. Yeah. No enlightenment, <laughs> just a slap in the head. <laughs> and a high five. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but so that's, that's it, it for the Lunar Ruins. That's it. For, that's the end of the Final Fantasy IV. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you guys enjoy it. I sure as hell had fun with it. And we end with teabagging the Lunar Ruins. <laughs> anyway, Technically, you're teabagging old mech. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Sorry, old mech. <laughs> with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny. And I am young. We I wish. Brothers. <laughs> you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching, and take care.